The Mermaid and the Dolphins The sea had been so peaceful and calm for the last few days, but now the waves were billowing higher and higher beneath a threatening sky. The fishermen hurried back to the harbor. Zali, a brave and experienced fisherman, knew he must head back to the safety of the harbor when he saw a fierce storm approaching. As the storm grew worse, Zali thought about the two dear children he must return to. Thirteen-year-old Risa was named by the fisherman Our Little Mermaid. She took care of her younger brother, three-year-old Larus, when Zali went to sea, for their mother had died when the little boy was born. Suddenly, as the sail tore and the masts snapped, Zali was tossed into the stormy water. Risa was cooking soup in the kitchen at home, worrying about her father. She tried to comfort little Larus as she fed him, but she was afraid for Dad's safety in the old boat with its patched-up sail. Risa, Larus said, I'm afraid. Why hasn't Daddy come back? The storm is dangerous and scary. Let's go up to the ruins. Risa wrapped him in his cape and put on her own. Then she took him by the hand and together they went out into the storm. Sheltering under one of the roofs, she saw the old paintings she loved. Here, smiling fishermen and happy dolphins were together in the peaceful bay, and above them, a mermaid hugged the scene with outstretched arms. Risa's mother had brought her here and taught her of the days when dolphins saved fishermen and villagers returned stranded dolphins to the sea. Risa loved drawing and painting dolphins. Now it is different. The villagers are holding a terrible fishing wealth festival in which they ceremoniously trapped dolphins in the bay and slaughtered them. Risa hated the festival and the horrible massacre of the helpless dolphins. However, her father went along with it, explaining to Risa that the fishing community had to defend dwindling fish stocks. Risa didn't believe the dolphins were responsible for the lack of fish. She knew from the painting that in the past, even when there were many more dolphins, the fishermen had been friendly with them. The previous year, Risa had to join her father on his boat because she had reached the age of 12. She watched in horror as the dolphins were speared to death. As Zali was about to attack the biggest dolphin, Risa pleaded with her father to spare him and burst into tears. Zali couldn't go through with it and put down his spear. Another fisherman threw his spear, which cut the side of the dolphin's neck. The dolphin then managed to escape to the open sea. In the ruined building, Risa looked at the beautiful drawing and cried. Quietly, she prayed to the mermaid, the dolphins, and the sea, beseeching them to spare her father and his fellow fishermen. She sang soft lullabies to comfort her little brother. Close your eyes, my dear, rolling waves can you Softly they whisper you lullabies So my child, close your eyes The waves bring you sweet dreams Of dolphins playing in sunbeams The mermaids too So my 
Zali struggled in the rough sea. Big waves pushed him down. Suddenly he felt something nudging him upwards, preventing him from drowning. Terrified, he thought it must be a shark. Zali was pushed above the water and he coughed out water from his lungs. To his surprise, a large dolphin appeared and as it swam around him, he saw it had a scar on its neck. Zali was exhausted, but the dolphin rubbed up against him, encouraging him to cling on to his back. The dolphin called four other dolphins with loud squeaks as he nodded his head up and down. As they headed for shore, Zali lost consciousness and slipped into the water, but another dolphin slid underneath him and helped him float to the surface. The storm ceased. And as dawn broke, the children awoke, wondering what had happened to their father. Looking out from the ruins, they saw no sign of Dad's boat in the harbor. Filled with dread, Risa and Larus walked down the slippery road home to a silent, empty house. Quietly, Risa made breakfast while Larus glanced in hope towards the sea. Risa bravely got on with her chores. She washed and dressed Larus, who was unusually quiet. Looking out of the window, she saw women, old men, and children gathering at the harbor side, waiting for news. Come on, Larus, let's join them, she said. Hand in hand, the two children walked down to the harbor. There was a big and noisy crowd at the harbor side. Suddenly, they saw the lighthouse keeper shouting and pointing towards the sea. A pod of dolphins was approaching, and on the fin of the biggest one, they could see an arm resting. The dolphins were too frightened to come any closer, and they hesitated at the mouth of the bay. Two fishermen jumped into a dinghy and rowed out furiously to meet them. It's Zolly! He's alive! The dolphins have brought him home, they cried. The dolphins squeaked, the crowd clapped and cheered, and Risa wept with joy as she thanked the dolphins, the mermaid, and the sea. When the villagers came that night to congratulate Zali on surviving the storm, he told them again and again of how the wonderful dolphins had saved him. At the fishermen's council meeting, Zali made an emotional plea to his friends. Killing the beautiful, intelligent dolphins was unnecessary and they could share the treasures of the sea with them. Sadly, the council were so firmly rooted in their prejudice that they ignored him. They did not vote to stop the killing, and every autumn the slaughter of the dolphins continued. Zali now loved the dolphins as much as his children and would never hurt them again. It is so upsetting to know that around the world, fishermen still kill dolphins and other marine mammals, such as whales and seals. We can all help to stop the unnecessary killing. We can sign the petition on the internet and can tell our friends and raise their awareness to this important issue. <laughs>